If you want to test a roulette system, one way to do it before you actually get to the table and try it live, either offline or online, is to run your system against a lot of random numbers that are generated by a service like this. Now, you may have a spreadsheet or you may actually have some roulette software that does produce random numbers for you. But I like to actually get an outside source of random numbers uh, just to really make sure that the potential system is actually working and also that the, the random numbers I'm getting truly are random. I've actually used this particular website and basically run thousands and thousands or basically millions of random numbers from this site through a spreadsheet to test how accurate it is and it's very very accurate and you can rely on this, this random number generator. You can either go direct to random.org and select numbers up here or you can go direct to this web address at the top. Now when you get here the default is 100 numbers. You can actually get it to produce up to 10,000. Now if you want 100,000 or a million it's basically a case of just running it through at 10,000 at a time and then copying and pasting them together. Now for this test we're going to run for 1,000. Now whenever I test any roulette system or play any roulette, I always play on a European roulette table. So that's basically got 37 numbers. You've got 1 to 36 and then just a single zero. So when you're actually selecting here the values that you want to actually produce the random numbers between, you want to select 0 and 36. What this will do is it'll actually run the, the produced numbers randomly between 0 and 36. So it will have the 1 to 36 numbers and then a 0. Now I always format it in one column because it's easier for copying and pasting. You just select get numbers and here we go, just produce them randomly down there. And if you go through them, uh, you've got, let's say, all the, you've got a 0 there, a couple of zeros, and you won't have any numbers over 36 or any numbers below 0. So you basically got 0 and then 1 to 36. Now to get them, you based, what I do, you can drag it down like that, but obviously if you've got a thousand numbers, it can take quite a bit of time. If you've got 10,000, it's very easy to lose your mouse and uh, you know spend a lot of time trying to get the uh, copy and paste to work. So what I do is I just left click my mouse right next to the, the number there, scroll right down with the, with the scroll bar, select my shift key and then select the right hand side of the bottom number. See that automatically selects all the numbers there. Now it's just a case of right click on the blue area that's highlighted, copy and then paste them into a relevant spreadsheet or um, software that you're testing with. And that's about it.